Hey everybody, it's Jennifer here with The Family Fudge and welcome to Bunches of Lunches. In today's video, I have a massive amount of fun and easy lunch ideas to share with you and I am super excited because this week we asked a mystery YouTube family to choose our lunches for us. And the mystery family is... Hey guys, we're the Crazy Middles and we're so excited to share our favorite lunch ideas with you. Yeah! Yeah! That's right, you guys. This is a family of 22 people. There's mom and dad. They have two bio kids, 15 adopted kids, and three foster kids. So if you're looking for a lot of lunch inspiration, definitely stay tuned because today I'm sharing 15 different lunch ideas. And you guys, when you're done here, definitely go check out the Crazy Middles YouTube channel. They have so much fun over there. I know you will love them. I'll go ahead and link their channel down below and make sure to let them know that the family fudge sent you. Now, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you love fun lunch ideas. And now, let's get on to the lunches. Hi, I'm Anna Faye and I'm six years old. For Anna Faye's main course, she requested a PB&J. On one slice of bread, I'm adding some peanut butter. And on the other slice, I'm adding some jam. And then to make this sandwich extra cute, I'm going to use this unicorn sandwich cutter. And here's a tip, you guys. To get the lines to stand out even more on this cutter, just add a little bit of food coloring to the cutter itself before you press it through the bread. So now that that is done, I'm going to move on to some banana slices. And I'm going to fit these at the bottom of this section of the lunchbox. And that's because on top, I'm going to add some vanilla yogurt. Now I love bananas in yogurt. I think that is a delicious combination, but doing it like this in the lunchbox also helps keep the bananas from turning brown because they're kind of trapped under the yogurt. For Anavea's vegetables, she requested broccoli. So I'll add some back in here with a few extra pieces of carrots as well. And then for her treat, she loves Reese's peanut butter cups. And I think I can fit two in this little center section. And then for her snack, she likes Cheez-Its. So I'm just gonna put those on the side. And then finally, to complete this lunch, I'm adding in some grape juice. This next lunch idea belongs to Jacob. Hi, I'm Jacob and I'm 13 years old. And for his main course, I'm going to start by making a caprese style pasta salad. Now you guys, this recipe is really easy. There's only a few ingredients. For the pasta, I decided to go with bow ties. And I'm gonna go ahead and toss the pasta in a little bit of pesto. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the cheese into little pieces, that is. This is fresh mozzarella cheese, which is pretty traditional in a caprese salad, and that goes for the tomatoes as well. I'm just gonna add a little bit more basil and some salt and pepper. So now that the pasta salad is done, I'm going to move on to the fruit. In this back section here, I'm going to be adding in some strawberries, and then over on the side, I'm adding in a combination of carrots and celery. For Jacob's snack, he requested any kind of chips. So I decided to go with some veggie chips because these come in a really interesting triangle shape. For his treat, I'm adding in a little bit of chocolate. And for his drink, I'm adding in some grape juice. and I'm 12 years old. For this lunch, I'm going to start by getting some already prepared taco meat into my thermos. Addison requested a Dorito taco salad. So the meat for the taco salad is going to be in here. And then in this lunch, I'm just including a bag of Doritos. So this is kind of like walking tacos where you would open up the bag and add all of the ingredients inside and then eat it straight from the bag. For this Dorito salad, I'm also gonna be including lots of lettuce. For Addison's fruit, she requested pineapple. And for her vegetables, she requested carrots, some shredded cheese, and some cilantro lime salad dressing. And to make this easy to get on the salad, I put it in this cute little squeezy bottle. 
for Addison's snack, I'm adding a Rice Krispie treat, and then I'm also adding in a small bag of Oreos. And for her drink, she requested orange juice. Now, this next lunch is inspired by Braxton. Hi, I'm Braxton and I'm nine years old. For Braxton's lunch, I'm going to start by making some nachos. And there are so many different ways you can make nachos. If I'm in a big hurry, I'll just stick them in the microwave. But I love to bake nachos. That's my favorite way to make them. So I've just added some of our favorite tortilla chips to a baking sheet. And then I sprinkled on a good amount of Mexican blend cheese. So there's actually four different kinds of cheese in here. And I think these all go really well with nachos. Next, I'm gonna add a very special chipotle sauce. I get this at Costco and it is delicious. It's not too spicy, but it is very smoky. Oh yes, and I almost forgot about the meat. I have some leftover taco meat. I'm just going to sprinkle this on the top. And then at this point, that's all I'm going to add. Everything else will go on after it comes out of the oven. Now, I would love to know in the comments down below what your favorite nacho toppings are. Personally, I love to add a little bit of shredded lettuce. I also like to drizzle on a little bit of sour cream or cilantro lime dressing. I also love to add black olive slices, and then I'll finish these off with just a few pieces of tomato. So now that Braxton's nachos are done, I'm going to move on to his fruit. Now I know he loves apples, but I'm not quite sure what kind, so I'm actually gonna add two different kinds here, both Fuji and Granny Smith together. So we have some sweet apples and some tart apples. Next, I'm adding in some celery sticks with a tiny container of peanut butter for dipping. And then for Braxton's sweet treat, I'm adding in some brownie bites. And now the very last thing I'm adding in is the drink, which for this lunch is going to be a mixed berry punch. I'm Lacey and I'm 18 years old. Okay guys, next up is Lacey's lunch, which would be perfect to have on a Monday because Lacey is meat free. Now, since Lacey loves anything with hummus, I'm definitely gonna start by adding in a good amount of hummus. And this is just a good old traditional kind, nothing fancy or weird added into here. And to go along with this hummus, I'm adding in lots of different things to dip in. Over on this side, I have plenty of space for some delicious garlic pita chips. I'm adding both carrot sticks and celery sticks. And then you guys, in this separate container, I'm going to add a delicious fruit salad. First, I'm adding in some strawberries, followed by two different kinds of kiwi. Next, I'm adding in some mango, which is my favorite. And then lastly, for some crunch, some green apples. Now I'll just mix this all together and get it into the lunchbox. For Lacey's sweet treat, she requested chocolate chip cookies. So I'm gonna be adding in these ones. These tiny little chocolate chip cookies are nice and crisp and I'm gonna fit as many as I can in this section. And then for Lacey's drink, she enjoys water. So I'm just adding in this really cute Minnie Mouse water bottle. Hi, I'm Tana, five For Trey's lunch, my first step is going to be to put together a simple but delicious quesadilla. Now, I know this tortilla might look a little bit funny, and that's because it's actually an uncooked tortilla. These are definitely my favorite ones to use. They just take a little bit longer, about 15 seconds per side, and then I can go ahead and load it up with the cheese. Now, once this quesadilla is nice and crispy on the outside, and the cheese is melty and gooey on the inside, I'm going to take it off the heat, and then using a pizza cutter, I'm just going to cut this into little triangles. And to go along with the quesadillas, I'm also including, and to go along with the quesadillas, I'm also including a little container of sour cream, 
perfect for dipping. Now moving on to Trey's fruit. I know he loves strawberries, so I'm gonna add those in here. And I did go ahead and cut these into heart shapes. And then for Trey's vegetable, he requested broccoli. So I'll add a few pieces right over here. And since my kids are the ones actually eating these lunches, I'm also going to add a little bit of ranch right in here to dip the broccoli in. Because you guys know my kids are big fans of ranch. For Trey's snack, I'm going to be adding in some pretzels, but these ones are really special because they're round. And for his sweet treat, I'm adding in a lunchtime classic, an oatmeal cream cookie. And I swear, every time I see these oatmeal cookies, I always think of the movie, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. You guys will have to let me know in the comments down below if you've ever seen that movie. And now to complete Trey's lunch, I'm also gonna be adding in some cranberry juice, but I couldn't find just a regular cranberry juice at my store, so I'm gonna go ahead and add this sparkling cranberry juice instead. almost 13. Now for Aubrey's lunch she requested make your own tacos and I decided to go with the soft taco version. So the first thing I'm going to do is add in three small tortillas. I went ahead and rolled these up so they fit nicely in the lunch box. Now you guys will have to let me know in the comments down below do you prefer soft tacos or crunchy tacos? I like crunchy tacos, but I think soft tacos are easier to pack in a lunch box. For the filling of the taco, I've mixed up a little bit of ground turkey with some taco seasoning, a little bit of salsa, and some black beans. I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the thermos so it can stay nice and hot. And then for these make your own tacos, I'm also going to pack lots of toppings. I'm going to add in some shredded lettuce, some cherry tomatoes, and then there's also cheese, sour cream, and salsa. And for Aubrey's fruit, I'm going to add in lots of grapes. For Aubrey's snack, she requested tortilla chips, so I'm just adding a small bag on the side. For her sweet treat, I'm adding a Rice Krispie treat. And for her drink, I'm adding in apple juice. Hi, I'm Spencer, I'm 16. For Spencer's main course, I've made some delicious chicken Alfredo. And you guys, to make this easy, I went the simple route. I just mixed some penne pasta with some store-bought Alfredo sauce, and then I added the grilled chicken directly in here. Next, I'm gonna be adding in some oranges, and to get these to fit in the lunchbox, I did go ahead and slice them and cut them in half, so we have little orange smiles. And then for Spencer's vegetables, I'm adding a combination of celery and carrots. Now I know that Spencer loves french fries, but to keep this lunchbox quick and easy to make, I'm gonna be adding in some of these potato sticks because I think they look a lot like french fries. For Spencer's sweet treat, I'm adding a little Snickers candy bar right in the center. And for his drink, I'm adding in some apple juice. Now that brings me to Brinley's lunch. Hi, I'm Brinley and I'm eight years old. And for her lunch, I'm making something that I often make for dinner, and that is spaghetti. Now I know that some people are against breaking spaghetti noodles, but if I'm putting spaghetti noodles in a lunch box, I think they fit a lot easier if I break them in half first. For the spaghetti sauce, I'm just mixing together some ground turkey with a little bit of store-bought sauce. And then in our house, I add two extra ingredients to our spaghetti just a little bit of Parmesan cheese and a splash or two of half and half makes an extra cheesy and creamy spaghetti sauce. So I'll just get the noodles in here, followed by plenty of the sauce and just a little bit more Parmesan on top to make it look pretty. For Brinley's fruit, I'm adding in some apple pieces. And for her veggie, I'm adding in baby carrots. For her snack, she requested a granola bar, so I'm just going to fit this right in the back. And for her treat, she requested any kind of cookie. So these ones are not only really cute, but they're also filled with raspberry jam. And then finally, to complete Brinley's lunch, I'm just gonna be adding in an apple juice with this really cute unicorn topper. Hi, I'm Landon 
Landon and I'm 12 years old. For Landon's main course, he requested pigs in a blanket. Now you guys, there's a lot of different ways to make pigs in a blanket, but recently I found some ready-made frozen pigs in a blanket at Costco and they are delicious. These little hot dogs are wrapped in puff pastry and then they're sprinkled with a little bit of cheese on the outside. They just take about 10 minutes in the oven and they're ready to go. Now to go along with these pigs in a blanket, I'm also going to add in a little container of ketchup. And then for Landon's fruit, I'm adding in both mandarin oranges and strawberries. Over in this section, I'm also adding in some carrots. And then over in this last section of the lunchbox, I have just enough room for Landon's snack and his treat. On this side, I'm adding in some animal circus crackers. These are the ones with the coating on the outside and the sprinkles. Well, most of them have sprinkles. And then over on this other side, I'm adding in some vanilla wafers. And now to complete Landon's lunch, I'm going to make some strawberry milk. And honestly, the last time I made strawberry milk, it was for a TikTok themed lunch that we were testing out. If you missed that video, I will link it down below, but it turned out so cool. But of course for this lunch, I'm just keeping it simple, making this milk the traditional way. Now that brings me to Cynthia's lunch. Hey, I'm Cynthia and I'm 17 years old. For Cynthia's main course, she requested pizza. So I'm gonna to put together some really easy bagel pizza. And instead of using regular bagels, I'm actually using bagel thins. And because I know all of my kids are gonna want some of these pizzas, I'm gonna make a whole tray's worth. First goes the sauce, then the cheese, then the mini pepperoni. And you guys, these pizzas cook super fast. It only takes about five to seven minutes in the oven or until the cheese is melted. For Cynthia's fruit, I've made up a little fruit salad of just strawberries and apples. And for her vegetable, I know she likes corn. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in here. For Cynthia's snack, I'm adding in some Cheetos, but these are actually the Flaming Hot Cheetos, which I actually like, but my kids don't really like so much. For Cynthia's treat, I'm adding in a little Snickers bar. And for her drink, I'm adding in some blue Gatorade. Next up is Kaysen's lunch. Hi, I'm Kaysen, I'm six years old. Now for Kaysen's main course, he loves mac and cheese. And I was gonna make Shell's mac and cheese, but I recently saw this really fun baby shark themed mac and cheese at Walmart. I'm not really sure if Kaysen likes baby shark at all, but I thought we could give this a try because it looks really fun. Now, while the mac and cheese is bubbling away, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything else ready for this lunch. For Kaysen's fruit, I'm adding in some diced peaches. And for his vegetable, I'm adding in some sugar snap peas. And I did go ahead and trim the edges off because that's just how we do it in my house. Next, I'm adding in Kaysen's snack. He requested string cheese. And to make this a little bit more interesting, I went ahead and cut them up into little zigzag pieces. Now that the mac and cheese is ready, I can go ahead and pile this into the thermos section of the lunchbox. And I have to say, I gave this mac and cheese a taste and it's actually surprisingly really good. It's very cheesy. And then for his sweet treat, I'm adding in a Nature's Valley granola bar, but this one's a little bit different because there's actually coconut butter in the center. And if you guys have never tried these, I highly recommend them, especially if you're a big fan of coconut flavored things, which I definitely am. And now lastly, to finish off Kaysen's lunch, I'm just gonna be adding in a chocolate milk. Hi, 
I'm Lizzie and I'm 17 years old. Now Lizzie's lunch is kind of a breakfast theme, which you guys know I love. So for this lunch, I'm going to start by making some little pancakes. Now I wasn't quite sure what type of pancakes Lizzie would like best. I know some people like chocolate chip, banana, or even blueberry. I would love to know what your favorite type is. But for this lunch, I decided to go with the classic plain pancake. Now to go with these, of course, I'm gonna be adding in a little bit of maple syrup in a separate container, of course, so we don't have a big mess in this lunch box. And then right next to the syrup, I have just enough room for some cherry tomatoes. For Lizzie's fruit, I'm adding in some green grapes. Well, technically these are cotton candy grapes. And then in this separate container, I can add in Lizzie's snack and treat. For her snack, I'm adding in some Chex Mix. And for her sweet treat, I'm adding in some birthday cake popcorn. This is kind of like kettle corn, but because this is birthday cake theme, there's a little drizzle of white chocolate and there's also sprinkles. And then finally for Lizzie's drink, she picked out lemonade. Next up is Harlan's lunch. Hi, I'm Harlan and I'm 16 years old. For the main course, I'm going to be making a triple cheese grilled cheese. Now, you can use lots of different kinds of cheese for a grilled cheese sandwich, but today I'm going with some sharp cheddar, some good old American cheese, which is pretty classic for a grilled cheese sandwich. And then for a surprise, I'm going to add one wedge of this kind of cheese. And instead of using a regular bread, I decided to go with sourdough. I think sourdough goes really well with grilled cheese. I just take one of these little wedges and I spread it on the bread like this. This will melt into the other cheeses and make everything ooey gooey and delicious. Next goes on the American cheese, followed by the cheddar cheese. And once this is closed up, I'm just going to spread a tiny bit of butter on the outside so it can get nice and golden brown. And then anytime I make grilled cheese, I love to use my panini press. It is really quick and easy, and it makes these really fun lines. And then to get this to fit in the lunch box, I did go ahead and cut it up into little grilled cheese sticks. For Harlan's fruit, I'm adding a combination of strawberries and grapes. And for Harlan's vegetables, I'm adding a combination of celery and carrots. Now for Harlan's snack, he requested any kind of chips. So I think I'm gonna go with the barbecue flavored ones. And then for his drink, I'm adding in some OJ. Hi, I'm Mason and I'm 11 years old. For Mason's lunch, my first step is going to be to prepare some bacon. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this into the microwave. And then I'm going to half toast my bread. And basically that just means I'm going to place both of these slices together in my toaster. That way the outside of the bread gets toasted but the inside stays soft. Now if you haven't already guessed, I am making a BLT. So first goes some mayo followed by the bacon. This is already cooled down enough so I can add it on here. Next goes the lettuce. And then for the tomato, I'm just slicing this really nice and thin. I'll go ahead and add that right on top. And to these tomatoes, I'm also gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to season them up. Next, I can go ahead and close up this sandwich. And before I cut it in half, I'm going to add some picks in the center. That way this sandwich will hopefully stay together. Check it out, this turned out so good. Now to go along with this BLT, Mason requested avocados. So I'll just add some right over here. And then for his veggie, he requested carrots. And for these, I decided to go a little bit on the special side by cutting them into star shapes. For Mason's snack, I'm adding in some chips. I decided to go with the sour cream and onion flavor. And for his treat, I'm adding in a granola bar. And then for Mason's drink, he requested water, but I decided to add this probiotic water because it looks really fun. Now I found this recently at Aldi and it looks like you're just supposed to push down on the lid and the probiotic water just kind of falls down and you shake it up.
Now you guys, this was so much fun getting to put together all of these lunches for the crazy middles. Don't forget to go check out their channel and let me know in the comments down below what YouTube family would you like to see me make lunches for next time? I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.